Hawaii, the Aloha State. Ever wonder how I got here? No, I'm in fourth grade. Well, it started under the surface. You mean underwater? I mean under the water. Whoa. Meet the hot spot. What's cooking, good looking? You really need to get a girlfriend. Moving on. So it's not that kind of hot spot. I mean, it's a hot spot. So how hot are we talking? About 1500 degrees Celsius. What's this guy to do with Hawaii? Ask and you shall be answered. You see, heat makes things expand. And what better candidate than the cool, rigid crust above that hot spot? Over time, the crust above the hot spot bulges, and the magma pushes its way upwards, creating a brand new baby volcano. Is that how all babies are made? Um. Wait a minute, so the volcanoes are made by hot spot? But there's more than one island. Are there lots of hot spots? Just the one. But while the hot spot sits in its same, well, spot, the ground above it has moved dozens of times for millions of years. We call that plate tectonics. What about forks and spoons? I can understand the confusion, but these aren't dinner plates. Plate is a term to describe how these sections of the Earth's crust behave. Hawaii sits on the Pacific Plate. Those bend right there. Easy. The plate changed directions. That's a long chain of islands, but maps only show a few. Where are the rest? A lot of the objects you see in that chain are actually underwater. Once a volcano isn't on the hot spot anymore, it stops getting any bigger, and over time, it will weather away, getting smaller and smaller. The north part of the bend is known as the Emperor Seamounts, which together with Hawaii makes the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain.